Today is a very exciting day. Super excited for something that's actually supposed to arrive at later today. Yeah, no news on my package. I'm actually pretty salty right now because it's been about two days after. It's finally here. It finally came. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. I maxed out all the settings. Looks really nice, dog. It just shot up to 145. Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see by the title of the video, today is a very exciting day. Well, we'll get to that in a second, but dude, I'm doing some major upgrades to my setup and to the quality of my video. Super excited. I'm going to show you guys the first thing I upgraded this past week, and that is, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter. If not, you guys definitely should. I got a Ducky 1-2 Mini. You guys see that, dude? Ooh. Oh, Kappa Pro, now, dude, but at the 60% with the Silent Red, the MX Cherry Silent Reds, if you guys can see. Not that clicky anymore and i wanted that because honestly dude when it comes to like content creation and like streaming and stuff like that it gets very annoying dude my mic would pick up every single little click and it's like nah bro i'm, I'm tired of that because i had the blues before i didn't really know anything about switches i kind of just knew that mx cherries were good but with that being said guys i'm not just that we have a lot of packages to show you guys today some amazon stuff we have some stuff in here we have some stuff in here for the setup as well and we also copped a new liquid cooler that came in a few days ago you guys can see right here we got the Corsair IQ H150i RGB Pro XT. I'm definitely excited about this dude. I'm gonna be replacing those three fans in front of my PC case are gonna be replaced with this liquid cooler. Definitely excited because I have the worst cooler right now that an i9-9900 can have and that's the standard 212 Evo or whatever. But yeah dude, a super exciting day when it comes to upgrades for my setup and the quality of my content. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox all that later in the video. Right now we're actually headed to the best I have to go pick something up and as you guys can hear by the title of the video I'm super excited for something that's actually supposed to arrive at later today But from what I'm seeing I'm checking the tracking number and it might arrive maybe in a day or two So whenever we do get that though, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the video So that being said, let's go to Best Buy <laughs> Yeah, no news on my main package which you guys see on the title and thumbnail But damn bro, I keep refreshing the tracking number dude I've been doing that for the past couple days The last update which was two days ago was in New Jersey But I know these tracking numbers especially with like USPS are like boof sometimes it says like it's across the country and the next thing you know it says delivered but yeah ladies and gentlemen we have arrived so what i came to get should be in the elgato section which is right next to me hopefully they have them because a couple days ago they only had two and i know it's not something that like people just buy all the time so we're gonna go ahead and check but uh without further ado let's check it out <laughs> let's see if they do oh they do have it they do have it we're getting ourselves a elgato cam link so i can use a sony a6400 actual camera as a webcam so that's why i came to buy this kind of just to up my quality and whatnot so yeah always a uh, fun time when i uh, do my little best buy trip i'm gonna go look at other stuff too because why not we're at best buy see if i buy some more stuff i'm just kidding i don't really have anything else i need to buy this is all i really need so Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, guys. So we're back in my office. As you guys can see, I got the cam link. I'm freaking hyped, dude, about this. This is pretty pricey, but if you guys are more advanced YouTubers, then it's definitely worth it. It's just literally this chip. I'll go ahead and um, show you guys when I do set it up. But um, with this being said, I need a few other things. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox a couple Amazon packages that I did receive. I have two Amazon packages, and you guys will see what I did receive today. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this stuff up and see what I got in this package. Hopefully, the things I need to be able to use the camera and yes it is it is a hdmi 2 micro hdmi right here and then the other end of the camera Let's see oh and then i also bought this thing for my mic as you guys can see i'm gonna actually go ahead and put it on right now little wind screen pop filter type thing because uh, my pop filter used to be you guys know pop filters they can get in the way of things and whenever i try to reach out and stuff like that it'd be on the way of like my peripheral vision but yeah it's literally for the mic hopefully this one fits if it doesn't fit i'm gonna be salty Five minutes later. All right, and just like that, you guys have a little windscreen for my mic. It makes it look a little better, and it also is supposed to help as a pop filter. And yeah, we have the next package. It's the last piece I'm missing little tiny box right here and there you guys have it it is a dummy battery you need a battery to connect to your camera that actually stays connected at 24 7 into the wall plug the outlet and so here is the battery here literally connect this battery into the camera and then it goes out you connect it here and to the wall outlet so the camera can stay running at 24 7 because obviously if you use a regular battery it's literally just gonna die midstream so yeah i got my dummy battery my mini hdmi to hdmi and of course 
got the Elgato cam link. Now, I do not have one of those clamp things. I'm going to be using a tripod. I just have a regular tripod that I will be trying to squeeze in behind my setup. But I might in the future, in the near future, buy actual clamp to like put on my desk. It's just they're really expensive. I'm trying to see if I could just not have to spend that much money and just use the tripod that I do have. We're going to go ahead and see how it all works out. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and show you guys the final result. Two hours later. All right, guys, after hours of trying to figure this thing out, I set up the Elgato cam link and everything I bought. You guys can see right there, dude, with the Sony A6400, dude. Beautiful. We still have the C920. Don't get me wrong. The C920 will always be the OG, the GOAT of YouTube gaming. But as you guys can see, I don't know how good it looks here. But dude, we have the whole blur effect and everything, bro. It looks freaking nice. I could use a different lens as well. But uh, right now, I'm working with what I got, dude. Yeah, man, as you guys can see, dude, I had to put it on a tripod. I do plan on buying the clamp that goes on the desk. I had to move my desk forward and everything, dude, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Yeah, it ended up not being that one because that one didn't really fit properly. So, yeah, I had to bring my desk out a bit. And, um, yeah, so far, so good. Looks incredible, dude. Honestly, I'm so freaking hyped to be using a real camera now, dude. But, yeah, super happy about that. And I do have good news. The 3070, the main part of the video, is actually in Austin. I live in San Antonio. Antonio and did an update it said that a few hours ago about three hours ago it was an hour away from me so it might still arrive today hopefully it does and if it does I'll go ahead and show you guys and probably take my computer apart and put it in there as well as the new cooling system that I did end up getting super excited to do that and that's gonna take me probably like two hours yeah definitely excited to do that I've never removed fans and stuff like that from PC so hopefully it's pretty simple just screws or something but yeah what's up with you junior junior what you doing bro what you doing bro Use Kavarg's in the item shop. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm actually pretty salty right now because it's been about two two days after I did the last segment of the vlog and my part is still not here and I paid for two days shipping dude it's about to be a week I'm just mad dude it is what it is but right now I decided you know what screw it I'm done waiting I'm gonna go ahead and put the liquid cooler in my PC so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect everything right now as you guys can see I turned it off and take it to the living room so I can go ahead and work on it with my dad put on the new radiator unfortunately I want to say something real quick I am an idiot I thought these were RGBs because they're clear. I didn't realize that most RGB products like this, especially when it comes to fans, will actually show that they're RGB. The only thing that's RGB on here is like the actual thing that goes on top of the CPU. This is what it is. I'm not going to be using these fans. Instead, I'm going to be using the Cooler Master fans that my PC already has inside. So I can't have RGB fans. It's what it is. We live, we learn. Good thing I had three RGB fans already. So yeah, I'm going to be using my older fans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to open this up. I took the fans off my case and I've never done this before. So so wish me luck. You guys know that being said, I have the anti-static band, whatever it's called. We're about to open it up. I took off the plastic and super chilled. We're going to go ahead and see what it looks like. You know, the boring stuff. Go ahead and throw it over there. With that being said, I present to you guys the Corsair. I don't even know what the hell it's called anymore. <laughs> we got the main part right here. We have the radiator right here. We have the fans. I'm going to take out the fans first. So these fans are going to be fans I'm not going to be using. Like I said, I'm going to be using the old ones I already have because those are RGB. These unfortunately aren't. Here you guys can see the actual part that we need why i cop this for and it has pre-applied thermal paste which is really freaking dope of them to do and that's going to be the part that's going to be rgb to go along with my fans wish me luck i'm going to put this together and then i'll show you guys the final result all right ladies and gentlemen after a couple of hours like two hours i finally did it by myself and <laughs> i'm just kidding with the help of my dad <laughs> We put the liquid cooler in and we're gonna go ahead and see if it boots up. Just make sure the fans and everything are fine. Like I said, I had to put the old fans on the new radiator and everything, so. More. Yeah. The fire extinguisher, please. <laughs> I'm dead, hopefully it works. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Ah, there you guys have it. Ooh, that looked nice. And then I also put it, one of the new fans in the back because it's way better quality than what it had before, so stock case fan. There you go. All that's working fine. Only yeah. the RAM is not turning on. It's probably just and cold. that fan turned the off. The fan turned off. Yeah, but I don't think that means anything. I just think that means it's just not hot. Yeah, that is true. And then the RAM, I think it's literally like a software thing. I I'm serious because sometimes they're off. Sometimes they are off. You have to go into the software and put them in there. <laughs> we haven't done anything with the RAM for the RAM to mess up. It's literally just been chilling there. It booted. Oh, mira, good job, Wow, and then my girl came out with some new makeup on. Look at her. She got the new look. She got the... <laughs> <laughs> New look on, okay. Now it's not a block. Remember how it was that big old block? Mm -hmm. yeah, no. 
eyes that you see that thing that's lighting up? She's just, like, just like, yeah, she's, 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 just, like, she's just agreeing hey. with everything. <laughs> I was right. It was actually a software problem. There you guys have it. That's what my computer should actually look like. And there you guys have it, dude. Finally water cooled. Oh, the satisfying plastic peeling off. And just like that, we got the PC up and running again. Literally just needs one more replacement and it's gonna be a freaking beast, dude. Might not be like the best aesthetically looking PC because that could be RGB and these fans could actually be way better. But it is a tank. It is a tank. I just need that one piece. You guys know I'm talking about the young 3070 to come in and we'll be good to go for a while to be honest all right guys it's the next day and you know what it's finally here it finally came we're gonna go ahead and open it up i want to give a shout out to my boy why because if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be able to get this retail price he was actually able to get this out of micro center in new york that's how i was able to get it for retail price dude i'm so excited without further ado man well, quick quick thing man usps i am never paying for two day shipping ever again from y'all bro it's all good i was telling my friends i was like dude i'm just a little desperate now dude like i was excited and now i got annoyed bro the past couple days i've literally been trying to track it and it's like dude where is it but it finally arrived dude today so with that being said guys i bring to you Ooh, excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited <laughs> the RTX 3070. You guys have it from a Gigabyte. It's called the Gaming OC8G. There you guys have it, dude. You have no idea how hard it is to get these things nowadays, dude, especially for retail freaking price, dude. If you're not on the Best Buy website at the right time, and it's like, dude, man. But with that being said, guys, so excited, dude. Oh my. You guys have no idea how excited I am, dude. Yeah, I can't wait. We're gonna go ahead and eat up with the family. My dad's over there mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna eat some Thai food. And what we got, dude? We got some boba. Oh, we got some, some, fried, some rice. fried rice. And we got yeah. some, some pad thai. Ooh, y'all know the vibes. What the hell are you doing, bro? I just <laughs> oh, you sat on that yeah. brush? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this video has turned into a mukbang. We actually got these Kit Kats from Japan. It is Kit Kat green tea. Very excited. We're going to try these out. And I was like, you know what, dude? I might as well make the vlog a little bit more interesting and try these out because why not, dude? I've never seen this in real life before on videos. I, I have seen them and stuff like that. Very excited. The green wrapper. Check this out. That's freaking sick. They're super tiny, bro. They're definitely not the regular size of Kit Kats. What flavor mm, is it? Green tea. Green tea chocolate. Very sure excited. Not. Wasabi. My dad was like, eh. He's like, we just got the wasabi kick. <laughs> See what it looks like? Ooh. Ooh, what the hell? It feels it like weird. Christmas. It feels like Play Doh, bro. <laughs> it does not feel like a regular Kit Kat. Unless I'm tripping, but we're gonna go ahead and see if they're as good as the original ones. But I'll give it a shot. Mmm. It tastes like boba Thai tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Like milk chocolate with like Thai tea. That's how I can describe it. But with that being said, now back to our schedule programming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I did a little bit of cable management because before like the whole power cable is here, it just looked a horrible and messy. I made it look a little bit cleaner. We have the radiator in here from yesterday and the fans and everything. I actually forgot to plug in a USB cable last night. So I went ahead and did that. And yeah, really, really nice. So nothing too crazy. But uh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen gentlemen for the uh guest of tonight's show man and that is uh, the geforce rtx 3070 and yeah this is a three fan one this was actually 569.99 so 570 plus tax and ended up being around like 620 once again shout out to my boy y for going to one of his uh, local micro centers and uh, actually grabbing the last uh, rtx 30 series that they had that day so um shout out to him but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and open this up so we can go ahead and install this uh, bad boy into this beast you guys know i have an i9 99 900 so um it's definitely not going to be bottlenecking the gpu or anything like that definitely very excited you guys can see gigabyte and everything um not an unboxing video so we're going to go ahead and just go through it really quick a nice card nice nice let's not go ahead and show anything we don't need to pretty self-explanatory register your product for four-year warranty you guys already know i'm going to be doing that for sure so with that being said oh take it off the phone we got the masterpiece itself we got the gigabyte 3070 we're going to go ahead and take this out out real quick oh man i know it's gonna be heavier than 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 i'm used to oh yeah Ooh, this is nice and sturdy bro oh this feels so good let me go ahead and take this out you guys can see the three fan I do know it has a little bit of rgb it's not the best rgb it's just like a little part qualified by a gigabyte you guys already know this is the real deal man this isn't i know i heard that there was some like people like taking out the chips and then selling them on ebay or something with like a fake chip i don't know some crazy stuff ladies and gentlemen we got the gigabyte rtx 
30 70 oh man this is a beauty dude oh the triple fan dude this looks so nice uh that's gonna look so good dude i can't wait to use this bro. this card actually includes two hdmi ports to uh display port if you guys are fans of hdmi that's really good for uh you guys you guys can see the a gigabyte logo and everything from the side only thing that's rgb is i believe the logo nothing much but yeah very excited i'm gonna go ahead and install this bad boy uh put it on the computer and show you guys what the final product looks like you guys can see it from here one last time this is what the top of the card looks like. Oh man, I can't wait to use this bad boy. I'm excited for the stream with it, dude. It's gonna be lit. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in the computer officially. The G4 is RTX 3070, bro. And the moment of truth. Hopefully, it freaking turns on properly. Let's go ahead and do the switch. Power supply switch, okay. Got a little motherboard light, a little action, and the power button. Hopefully it works. Let's get it, boys. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. It turns on. Let's get it, boys. A little more RGB action going on with the Gigabyte logo. And like I said, that's the only cool thing, I guess, that lights up on the card itself. And then, uh, yeah, the computer looks weird because these, for whatever reason, not programmed properly. But, yeah, looks like it's uh, up and running. Everything's working. Definitely excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and... We're gonna go ahead and check it out. And of course, a little farewell and goodbye to my GTX 1080 Mini. This Zotac one, it did me really, really well, dude. Like, I created so much content with this baby right here, dude. Really, really good deal. I got it for like $400. <clears throat> New on like Black Friday 2017 or 18. And it was the first graphics card I ever did a custom build with. So, it's my baby right here. I'm handing it down to my dad. He's gonna be upgrading from a 2060. GTX, no RTX, no ray tracing. Ray tracing with 2060s is not even that good anyway. <laughs> So it's not like he even uses the ray tracing. He's definitely going to get more friends with this bad boy right here. Yay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we turned it on. The Gigabyte logo showed. This is the first time I'm booting it with the 3070 in the PC. Hopefully everything goes as planned. And dude, I'm super excited. Oh my. I mean, it booted and it worked. We see stuff on the screen. So put in our pin. And it looks like everything is running. Let's go to device manager real quick. Go on display adapters, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. There we have it. All right, guys, and here is the PC. We got the Pop in there, Marty McFly. I'm probably gonna end up upgrading that to like a RGB fan just so it looks better and add maybe some like RGB strips or something. I also forgot to show you guys my dad's PC, which is hilarious, dude. I literally gave him the motherboard, the RAM sticks, the processor, which is i7-7700K, and now the graphics card. He literally has all my old components, but in a way better case than mine to be honest literally has my old pc which is crazy and my dad did end up putting the 2060 on my sister's pc as well but she's going from a 1060 and we're also well, a lot of upgrades everywhere because i'm in my room right now and my mom and my wifey just updated some stuff i don't know they added some stuff they added some lights and like moved things around and stuff and they added some stuff for baby ezra for whenever he's born they're gonna go ahead and put the word ezra there with like custom decorated letters and stuff like that so yeah they're working on that quick little update but overall very successful video dude i'm so hyped to go ahead and put this to test i'm gonna go ahead and add some footage on Call of Duty cold war test it out see the frame rate and everything and see what happens Let's go ahead and do that and end the video off on that note going from a 1080 to 3070 i know it's gonna be great i maxed out all the settings and i'm recording 1080 to 60 hopefully everything's good why'd you max everything out i don't even do that no i know i know it just just because i'm testing it out oh but it feels very Frame smooth roll. i want to see like how my recording does as well it looks really nice dog very unnecessary graphics but it looks nice it's going from like i want to say 75 to 100 fps but it feels really really good my quality <laughs> would be so nice like this for for videos I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put the settings lower. I turned my my webcam what the heck? To my FPS yeah. just went down. I don't know what, but oh, but it just shot up to where I want it to be. <laughs> Cap that 145. Huh? Wow. Oh. Ah, uh, you got ah. Let's go ahead and uh, put it unlimited more. Ooh, with the 200 FPS. You know the vibes. This feels so good, bro. Do you make intros? No! With that being said, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video that we started off with getting the Elgato Cam Link 4K and went from this webcam to 
this amazing Sony A6400. So I'm definitely excited about this quality change for sure. Not just that, but we did end up upgrading from a normal air cooler to a liquid cooler for my i9-9900. Definitely a big upgrade when it comes to temperatures and stuff like that. The performance of my processor. Definitely very excited about that. Of course, last but not least, we got the young Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card, dude. Definitely a huge upgrade and big improvement from my 1080 bro i cannot wait to game on this dude and i'm very excited for the new games to come in the near future dude that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like if you guys did subscribe with post notifications or not now let me know down in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy today's video and man i'm just freaking hyped make sure you guys use creative code vox in the fortnite item shop if you guys still play fortnite if you guys are ever interested in buying a ducky a keyboard or any mechanical keyboard check out mechanicalkeyboards.com and use creator code virus at checkout to help your boy out check out all my social media is down below the description box as well make sure you guys are subscribed but with post notifications onto my streaming channel as well as my twitch you guys are notified when i go live that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always i'll catch you guys later virex out peace